Okay, so again in the head of the document, I'm going to create a little bit of a space there. And we're going to go over to the files panel and I'm going to click on the attach style sheet button. And then I'm going to browse for the file. So I'll click on the browse button, find the CSS folder and I'm going to click on the jQuery light box. Click OK. I'm going to set the media type to screen and I'm going to import it. I'm going to use it as a link. I'm going to add it as a link. OK, and then press OK, and that should create the syntax line for you. And you'll see that it appears at the top of your web page. OK, so it's time to preview that in the browser now. So let's have a look at it. Save all the changes. And there you go. OK, so it's fully functioning. And uh, you'll notice it says image one of three there. It will count the number of images with the class of Lightbox. And then you can click on the next and previous buttons to preview those images. OK, now if we want to, we can also give each image a title. So uh, next to the class Lightbox, I'm going to create a small space just before the uh, closing angle bracket. I'm going to type in title equals. And for this one, I'm going to put ruins in Greece. And uh, let's preview that again in the browser just to make sure it worked. OK, so I'll now click on the image and there we go, opens up and there's a small title in there as well. They can also customise the background of the Polaroid um, effect and change that to any colour you want to. You can make it pink if you wanted to or blue, doesn't matter, you just need to target the CSS to do that. So I'm going to get mine to match my background colour, so I've just copied the hexadecimal colour for that. I'm going to find the lightbox um, CSS and I'm going to scan down until I can find a pound sign which will indicate that there's a colour that I can change there. And there we go, background colour. And at the moment it's set to white, pound FFF, so I'm going to paste my um, hexadecimal colour in for the purpley background. And I'm going to scan down and find the next um, hexadecimal colour. And there we go again. That's the white for the background. And paste that in as well. And then I'll re-preview that in a browser. OK, so there you go. There's my purple background with title. Now if you want, you can change the images out as well for the close button, the next and the previous buttons. You can um, just create your own images and then uh, create a link to those images inside of the images folder. OK, so I hope you enjoyed this uh, jQuery Lightbox tutorial. Um, this is James from Dreamweaver Tutorial, and I'll catch you next time.